All right, ladies and gents, I have read amazing things about this game, and I'm excited to bring it to you. And it's also been a long time since we've casted uh, four lakes, a map with four, well, ponds in the corners, <laughs> uh, with lots of fish, uh, plenty to talk about, I'm sure. And again, from the, the little bit I read about this game, plenty of action. Uh, in the red, we have Guardsman Gary. You can see their elos actually at the bottom right. I'm too lazy to change the elos at the scoreboard at the top, but that's nice that that's there. Guardsman Gary is playing as the Celts. And then in the green, we have Entik, who is playing as the Ethiopians. Now, Guardsman Gary and Entik are playing at 900 elo, but even though my uh, even though I say it's low elo legends to be uh, 1,000 elo and below, I feel like realistically when you're at the 920 or 930 mark these days, I have to be honest, these guys probably shouldn't be in that class of Loyola Legends because the more I watch 900 ELO, the more I'm really impressed with the skill, the game knowledge, and whatever else. But, you know, as I say it, as I think about it, as I say those words, green doesn't produce a villager the whole time. Um, so bad timing on that, I guess. <laughs> and Entic now doesn't have a sheep underneath the TC. Okay, I take it all back. I'm so sorry, Entic. <laughs> But you pick the worst possible time to forget some basic things here uh, as the villagers have no job and they're deciding on what to do next. And I think Entik's like, you know what? Screw it. I'm just going to take a boar. So we're going to take the boar. Uh, we're going to switch up our build a little bit. And shame on me for trying to scout with my sheep, I guess is what Green's thinking. Um, all right, not the prettiest. So um, let's talk about the... The way I got this game for a second, so actually we have we have Red saying, can we pause for 30 seconds? You don't have to worry. This is a recorded game. Uh, but I have a Discord. And if you're not familiar with Discord, uh, it's a way communities to basically interact with each other. We have a million different chat rooms. So whether you're looking for games, want to post memes, or want to do community games on Fridays, we have all these different rooms there. And we also have the game submissions channel in that Discord. Now, the reason we have that is so people don't use my business email to spam games. I do get that a lot anyways, because a lot of people don't know. But if you're ever out there watching and you're like, wow, I, I really want T90 to see this. I can't make any promises, but we actually have a room for that in the Discord. Uh, we actually have had viewers as well. They're just like, oh, cool. I kind of want to watch this game. This description's pretty cool. So maybe I don't see the game. In fact, the chances are very slim that I will see the game. But... Um, you know, other people might be able to talk about it and say they enjoy it, and uh, you get to hang out with fellow uh, players of the game. Uh, sorry, I was a little confused with Red's situation. But so far, so good. So, one of these players was one of the ones that submitted the game, and I don't know which player submitted it, but I could tell you that if one player docks and one player does not dock, I would say the player who docks is probably from my audience because I talk about it a lot about how on a map with water you should go for four or five on wood and then dock and add fishing ships instead of look at red pushing in the deer wow uh, instead of um, going for the mill and okay so my guess right now based on the start is that guardsman Gary was the one who submitted it but again I don't know for sure and in fact, I don't need anyone to fact check that either. I would prefer not to know. So no one go to the Discord and look through the submissions, please, because that would uh, kind of spoil this for us. Anyways, like Red's going for all the fancy tricks here, weakening the boar with the town center and everything. And again, has the dock. Celts do chop wood faster, so this could be really awesome to uh, get more wood income for the fish. And just to reiterate, uh, my my whole conversation and my whole point regarding the dock and as to why this is, uh, it's all about eco units. So we talk about idle TC time. And the reason that's a conversation is because the more villagers you have, the more resources you're going to bring in, right? You only have one TC right now. So you can, you're maxed out at what you're able to do and how many villagers you're able to get out of your town center. But this player has two eco units or two eco buildings you have the dock and then you have the tc so if both were working all the time red would pull ahead with eco uh, however red is really really interested in his 
in his deer. <laughs> and you gotta love it. I mean, the only way you really practice this is, uh, or get better at this, is if you practice. But, uh, in the time that Red pushed in that deer, Red also didn't create a villager at all. So, you know, you've got some low elo tendencies. Either way, the fishing ships are on the way. Red's on the way to Feudal Age. And what's the scouting look like? Not great. Um, not great at the moment. Uh, again, you know, if you want to listen to my tips, I would say, like, maybe scout the map instead of pushing the deer, especially on a map where you've got fishing ships. But Red says, I want food, man. I want food, and I am not going to waste all the food that the AoE gods have given me. Okay, Red's going to try it again. Doesn't know what the opponent's doing. Doesn't really care. He's going to go push in the next deer. Little pushy-wushy here. And, uh, uh-oh. Oh, God. Okay, that's fine. Green. About to click up to the few lades, you would think. Green did dock. Delayed the dock, though, because the mill had gone up. But I like this from Green. You've got two lumber camps. So very good wood efficiency for the long term. The deer will eventually come in. And then the berries, I'm sure. And they might actually both end up in similar positions just in different ways because red was faster to the dock and later to the berries green is going to be um you know, faster to the mill and then later to the fish green's also going to stone guys why would an ethiopian player go to stone well you could go for stone walls which is probably more extreme um you could also go to stone for towers if you think your opponent's going to go archers the only other thing that I'm thinking of, and again, at this ELO, I have to expect that these players have a plan. Um, I don't know if it's a good plan or a bad plan, but I think they have a plan. Um, but yeah, maybe a castle would be really cool. Gotta love this from Green. Green was about to get pop capped, and Green said, oh, okay, I'm just gonna make like all the houses and make them as part of my walls. Um, also, Green's still Dark Age. So, uh, that's a problem. Green, did you click to Feudal Age and not realize that it didn't actually work? Green, you good? Okay, Green's gonna get there eventually. We have to have faith. Meanwhile, Red is in the Feudal Age. Red is scouting the enemy now. There goes Green. Green garrisons the villagers in the TC. And that's probably what reminded Green, oh crap, I didn't click up to the next age. Red goes for the blacksmith. Red goes for the market. And it looks like this is a fast castle for Red. So Red's got a pretty massive lead right now. Also, um, hi, Max. No joke. You're selling out of my merch store. Which I don't even know why this happened, by the way. You seem like a complete bot. Uh, if people didn't know you, they'd, they'd expect you were a bot at this point. It actually led to someone buying a t-shirt yesterday. Because I loaded up my merch store. And I was like, wow. Somebody bought some merch. <laughs> so, thanks for that. So, green is definitely off to the slower start. But green's going to be able to pull off a fast castle quite easily as long as the buildings are built right away. And then red might be in castle age faster. But red, to my knowledge, doesn't necessarily have a plan here, right? Like, no real military plans. Maybe red would boom and add a lot of villagers with town centers, but red doesn't really have the wood for that. It would actually be a really good build up for maybe knights. Because um, the food's there and the gold's going to be there. But man, look at the resources for green. Now here's green scouting. I believe this is actually auto scout from green. And green has made it to the next stage. And honestly, green just seems to be a little relaxed you know doesn't have a ton of urgency about life and drops the market and is now going to drop the blacksmith and so eventually once these buildings are complete green will have the resources to go up red i don't think is going to go be aggressive but okay never mind red's going to make a stable now so red is thinking about some knights um as far as my business email goes by the way it gets spammed with so much stuff, but I do try and look, you know, look through it. Um, you know, you could always message me on Discord, but I also might never respond there either. I'm not trying to sound like I'm not approachable, but I get 
a lot of messages and I have to prioritize my time because I already spend way too much time doing this stuff. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, there was someone earlier who was like, said they emailed me. Unfortunately, there's like about like 30 emails that come in a day, not all from like viewers or whatever, but you know, just like random spam from different companies about content creation. Yeah, I would say give it your best shot there and, and we'll see what happens. Discord implemented a new feature recently where if someone messages me and I'm not friends with them or like they're not, and I, I basically I could set it so it doesn't actually go into my inbox and I can go to a separate folder and I could like kind of sort through what I want to talk to, who I want to respond to and, and who I don't, um, which is why I recommend Discord more these days because it's just a little bit easier for me to, to go to it when I want to. All right, so again, Guardsman Gary had a great Castlage, but didn't necessarily have a plan for Castlage. Green had a slow Castlage, but has a plan for Castlage. So this game's going to be pretty even. Also, I love the house wall here from Green. Green also... Oh, the first blood of the match. Oh, look how that guy fell back. Oh my goodness, look at that. That was so dramatic. Let's raise him from the dead real quick. Watch this. His arms fly back. Jeez. And then the... Oh, man. He, he trampled over him, too. Look at that. Adding insult to injury. I guess it's not really... I guess you can't insult someone who's dead. And you can't injure someone who's, who's dead, either. He's, he's, he's dead. But uh, anyways, that happened. Oh, okay. We got to go to normal speed now. I mean, Red's got a knight now. And Red does know where the opponent is. And Red seems to be sitting here thinking maybe the gold could be denied. But I think the bigger focus for Red has really just been the economy. And I like how Green has taken the north now to expand some of that fishing eco. Because the fishing economy goes a long way on this map. Also have another dock down here from Green. Alright, so first thing Green does in Castle Age is going to drop is going to be drop a castle. Man, it would be so cool if we saw Shoto Warriors and Wode Raiders in this game. Actually, who wins? Elite Shotel versus Elite Wode Raider. I feel like it'd actually be a pretty close fight. Shotels have a lot more attack, but Wode Raiders have more HP. And they both attack pretty fast as well. I think Wodes would be probably be better at running underneath Castle Fire because of their strength, but... I guess we'll find out. Man, Green might make a lot of these things, too. Green is definitely behind an eco. But Green knows what's up. Green's going for the attack and also the infantry upgrades. And we're talking Feudal Age and Castle Age upgrades. In the north, Green's adding one fishing ship. That makes me happy. In the south, we're going to see a fishing ship. Red has not scouted that dock, however. So they might not really find each other there. And here come the knights from red, and red's like, wow, okay, this is my time. Time to pressure. Let's go. I want to be aggressive. And green's kind of walling up the backside here. Maybe aware this is a possibility. 37 eco versus 47, and it's a pretty good game so far. I mean, obviously, execution could be faster, could be better in some ways, but oh, red gets in. And the woads win that 1v1? Okay, I'll take your word for it. Green's going to need to make something right now. Green has these periods where it feels like Green's not there. <laughs> like, now now like Green is just suddenly here and ready to go and is all excited and great response. Unfortunately, loses a vill, but... Like, now Green's ready to go. But, like, you know, there seems to be these spells where Green goes from, like, awesome decision and then needs a break for a second, needs to take a deep breath. Oh, quick wall. House wall. Very impressive. But you could make some army here, Green. So I'm impressed. Okay, Green saves the villagers. Red probably happy with the value that that attack got, though. 51 eco versus 35. Red still seems to be ahead in economy. And Red is going to run on home and maybe focus more on that economy now. Because the army won't be quite as distracting. <laughs> green is temporarily AFK. I think green might be trying an intentional fast imp or something. Like, green has forgotten to create villagers and didn't produce any Shota warriors. Like, I honestly think green is waiting for Imperial Age, but I'm not entirely sure. 
Because if you wanted to go imp, you could sell food and wood and get the gold. But I don't know if green is thinking of that. Okay, now green's going to get gill nets. What's nice is, is that green is expanding that fishing eco. And that is something that is underrated here. Like, red is starting to mix in more into farms, which is completely fine. I mean, to be fair, red's also adding some fish as well. Um, and, and you know, red's being a little more active, right? Um, has some spells here or there where certain things aren't happening, but... Like I said, green's awake now. Like, green's suddenly alive. Like, green now is producing villagers. Green's getting all these upgrades. Royal Heirs is coming in, which I think means the Showtel Warriors produce even faster. Squires, which means the Showtel Warriors move faster. Arson, which means the Showtel Warriors destroy buildings faster. And I want to see a freaking Showtel green. Showtel, Hotel, Holiday Inn. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get some Showtels out of that castle, buddy. Red's still making knights, and yet Celts do have Paladin, but Celt Paladins are very weak. Also, I think there's a hole here. I can't tell, but I think there is a gap there. And let's see if Red finds it. Yup. Red runs right in. Green reacts right away. So, like, Green's there. And now Green's gonna make Pikemen. Now, I love low elo, dude. This is, like, the most low elo thing ever. Like, you build up towards a castle. You build up to royal heirs. You do all these things which scream Showtel Warrior. And Green's like, nah, actually... Whoa, whoa! Did you see that? What was that bug? Whoa, lady! You can't actually get in the house. This game isn't realistic. That was weird. She ran on top of the house. But yeah, anyways, now Green just doesn't want to make Showtel Warriors. Now that said, Pikeman is something that you, you get the Pikeman upgrade for free. So that's not a bad addition. And green's actually doing something about it now, which is also good as well. And red is really committing to knights. Like, red continues to produce more, adding more stables now. Red's thinking, I can, I think I can win this game right here. What red doesn't know, though, is that these pikes are going to have full upgrades. Imagine going from seeing zero pikemen to seeing pikemen with full upgrades. And look how fast the Showtel Warriors produce. Whoop! Whoop! Whoop. There you go. That's enough whoops for me. Green is really good with the fortifications and the, the house walls behind. And green's making a lot of infantry at the moment. So let's see how green manages this. I think green might delete this. Uh-oh, red saw it. And red's scared now, and red's going to run away. So Showtel Warrior, 45 HP, 16 base attack. That is insane. And then, plus he's got... Plus two attack from the up from the uh, blacksmith upgrades. If green would have run right to Red's base right now, Red would not be able to stop that. Actually, I could be wrong. That's a lot of knights. But I feel like this combination is really strong. Again, green's been very low eco here. Uh, does have the fishing ships, but really has forgotten about the villagers. But now isn't forgetting about the army production, and that's what I was waiting for. Defense into offense is a play style, and that's kind of what green's going for. A lot of, like, if you compare higher elo, there's a lot of players who are who play just like that. And red, I think, is feeling like, I can win this game. Green's doing nothing to me right now. Oh, man, I'm so excited for this fight, but red's going to have full castle age upgrades on what's available anyways. And the Celt Siege here. And I feel like this could honestly end the game. We're 31 minutes in. Lovely stuff from Red to produce more villagers. Red will see some infantry here. And Green backs away. Like, Green's paying attention all the time. Not to the economy, but to the fights. I think Green is scared now and is going to hide inside the castle and back away. And rightly so. Like, Red is really flying ahead now with the population. What's funny to me is you look at this and you think, wow, Red's got more military. But then you look at the army count and that's not actually the case. And Green has the show tells and is going to go whoop, take out the Manganel, take out the next Manganel, to take out the next Manganel as well. I think there will still be one remaining, but that's actually worth it right there. That was not that big of an investment. Green's still at 31 villagers. 
And red, you've now built a castle in the middle hill. Probably the most important hill of the game. You have to think, what would T90 say? While you're playing, I want you guys to think, what would T90 say? And don't, you know, don't don't say supplies or murder holes. Not that. You have a crucial position. You have the hill above your opponent. You have pretty solid economy. Should you, A, produce Wode Raiders and spend resources on upgrades? Or B, maybe click up to the Imperial Age so you can make trebuchets and then do those things. <laughs> Red is uh, staying in Castle Age a bit longer than I would suggest. But I do like how Red loves the upgrades and is catching up on some of these things, which are obviously very important. Blue is making siege workshops behind all this. Uh, why did I say blue? Green, sorry. Um, and there we have the market from Red. And I think Entick who's very much aware that his opponent has a castle here, should also consider the Imperial Age and actually canceled a bunch of those vills. And, oh, is going to be a sneaky boy. I like this a lot. Yeah, because, like, Red's waiting here. You're probably both waiting for the big Imperial Age fight. Good job from Red to click up to Imp. One of the hardest things for players to counter when you're walled is you sneaking out of your walls and running to their base because they never expect it. But here comes Entic with these show tells. Where's the imp TC? No way! Oh my god, please tell me Green finds the imp TC. That would make me so happy. Green has been pretty scared to attack this game. Here go the show tells. Now, your mom told you growing up, don't run with scissors. Whatever this... Don't... Apparently, the, the parents of the show tell warriors didn't say don't run with sickles, man. How are they not smacking each other in the face with these things? Anyways, Royal Heirs is actually paying off big time because the production is just wild. From one castle, too. Not multiple. One castle. Green sneaking. Hasn't really seen a lot of Red's base. And this is Red's point of view. Red's like, I've got this game. I'm going to kill this guy. And I'm going to I'm gonna love life. And I'm going to tell all my friends. And I'm going to tell my mom. And I'm going to... All of my life's problems are going to be fixed because I'm going to win this game because I have the hill and this is awesome. And then suddenly, here come the show tells, all sneaky like. Oh, so sad. It wasn't the imp TC. That's such a good guess. Because normally the players will go up to imp with their first TC. Oh, I'm so sad that green just got the wrong TC. That would have been such a play. Anyways. Um, the TC's down anyways. Imperial Age will come in for Red. And Red's like, what? I thought this guy was walled. This isn't... This is cheating, man. You can't counterattack. So the show tells and all their upgrades finally pay off here for Green. And Green's gonna slice and dice. Slice and dice there. Also, all these fishing ships will be idle if the dock goes down. Green has also spread up. Uh, spread out, excuse me. So this is gonna become tough for Red. Red sees this, but not before all the villagers get destroyed. Oh, this is so satisfying. Entic with 25, 26, 27, 28, 29 villagers killed. Nope, just 28. And that's not the end of it either. More show tells arrive. And guys, this is why walling and sneaking is strong. Obviously, Red has had the army, but mobile units raiding. Very tough to deal with. And that evens it out. Red did a lot of work to build up that vill count, but man, the show tells ruined all of it. Again, you've got 16 plus 2 damage, so they 3 shot a villager. And then I think if you get a uh, blast furnace, you 2 shot a villager. I think. Meanwhile, you actually have the trebs here from Red. And oh, oh, a big shot as well. That was sick. I think that was an attack round. Wow, Red goes for another attack round as well. And the pikemen and the show tells, well, the show tells are pretty much gone, but they all go in here to take out the siege. And Red is back in the game just like that. Also, this knight, or sorry, this knight has made it in. And Green, who has resources, now does not have a castle and needs to stop this push. But that those were some amazing shots there from Red. 
Guardsman Gary gains all of his score right back and just needs to run into Green's base. You take out the castle, you just whoa, run right in. Again, it takes Green a really long time to build stuff up. Like, Green seems like the slower player here. Um, red is more, I would say, is, is the better overall player. And fortunately for Red, I think we're going to see Red prove that here. I mean, this seems GG simply due to 30, 40 infantry going down there for Green. The town center could go down. This castle could be denied. Um, I can't tell. Is there a full wall here? I feel like there isn't. But anyways, the Wode Raiders and the Knights here are going to kill all these villagers. There are pikemen on the way for Green. And the pikemen will do well against the knights, but you are really going to need a castle up if you're green. And even then, red could just trap it down. It's a shame, too, because green has lots of resources. And green's not going to give up. Uh, there were actually villagers down here on this gold. This is kind of cute. In the other areas of the world, there's war. But here, there's harmony. <laughs> um, and yeah, green's just going to like drop a castle there. Also did complete this castle. And is going to try and research conscription in it before it goes down. Yeah, green wasn't really able to make use of imp. Because red didn't really give green the time. But again, if green was just a little faster with taking advantage of the showtails and the pikemen and castle, even without adding more villagers, I think green would have been fine. Fun game here. That was really cool. Hey, guys, if think about it though. If green actually got red's imp TC... Green, I think, wins the game. Because Green would have not been pressured and lost the castle. And Green would have been able to take make use of Imperial Age and make more show tells. The honest is the difference in this game. If that TC would have been the Imp TC, Red never pushes. And I think Red dies. Anyways, let's see how long it takes Green to mass these units. I mean, Green doesn't want to resign here. I'm sorry if this is going to drag on. Again, I haven't seen this game. I don't think there should be any way green wins this game from here. But then again, red has zero defensive castles and doesn't really see where green's at at the moment. Um, slowly destroying the buildings here. And okay, let's see. So went from zero army to two army just like that. Let's clock it and see how many showtells can be created here. You know what's concerning from Red's perspective? Red doesn't really have that many resources. Like, I thought Red would have 3,000 food. I thought Red would have all this gold. No, not really. Like, Red's eco is kind of a mess. Still probably thinking his opponent's defeated right now. And actually, the fishing ship there would have told Red, or maybe it was a fire ship, would have told Red the situation. Yeah, Red knows the castle's there now, but like... Yo, could Green bring this back? <laughs> That's a lot of Showtel warriors. This has not taken long. He's up to 29 already. Now, he'll eventually run out of resources, but there's still 1,400 gold. But I guess these things aren't bringing in food, which is the sad thing. There's a villager here, so there's a TC alive. Oh, you do have the fish traps too, which could bring in some food. Man, like, when green's ready to party, green parties. The problem is, is like, there's a lot of breaks in between the partying for green. <laughs> okay, here goes green. And green's like, well, I might as well fight this. They've got 16 plus 4 attack. Are the Wood Raiders the lead? I don't think the Wood Raiders are elite. Green's gonna win. Green just won the fight. What? The guy's got tw 23 villagers. No freaking way, dude. If he could just find a couple spots, soon Red's going to join him with that vill count as well. These showtells are wild. Again, these Wode Raiders are not elite. elite. There's a big jump from regular Wode Raider to elite Wode Raider. The Showtel's attack is destroying anything that comes this way. It is 47 population versus uh, uh, 70 population. And actually, a fair point, it's just one villager. So it says eco-wise is 23, 
But that's fishing ships. It's about to be two villagers for green. <laughs> Yo! And and I'm like trying to find out, like, Red's making more woats. But I don't think Red could stop this, and that TC is going to go down, and all the vills are going to go down. This is ridiculous! Show tells in a dream. Let's go! Man. Like, I thought, like, usually people submit their wins. I'd love for people to submit their losses, too, because I just want to see good games. But, you know, like, people don't want to upload their loss. They don't want me to cast their losses. So I was like, oh, yeah, this is definitely Red who submitted this. And now I'm watching this, and I'm like, maybe Green submitted it. The fishing eco here is very helpful. I actually forgot to touch on that a moment ago. And, yeah, I mean, if you're Green, try and get your Vill count back up. But more importantly, I think just kill what you can and always try and find more villager kills. He's just going to shred houses for now. Dang. Now, okay, so from Red's perspective, expand your eco where you can and then focus on something that counters these things. Scouts is not it. It truly is World Raider, but Red might also be realizing that it's just too many show tells to deal with. Also, Red has tried World Raider. So I think, you know, with Red only having seven on food now, after losing so many farmers, it's going to be tough for Red to ever get there. To, to get to Elite. And even then, I'm not convinced that Elite World Raider is that good. Like, I do think it's probably better overall, but the show tells attack is just insane. Guys, look at what Red sees. Red must be thinking Green is using cheat codes right now. <laughs> like, he destroyed Green's entire base. Uh, he really should have started taking out the docks, too, and might end up doing that, but... Green might be thinking the same, though, which is kind of funny. Green's like, where is this guy? I've killed him, right? Both players think they've won the game for different reasons right now. Like, uh, Green has looked around and has found villagers in many different areas, but really needs to look over here now. Ethiopian outposts do give you more vision. It's 62 pop for both, man. What a game is this? Uh, also, is there like another castle I'm missing? No, there just there was a show tell there. Maybe because Green noticed there was a vill there on gold. Yeah, yep, and now Green sees this as well. Wow, so now Red's pop is dropping. But at the same time, Red's pop is also going up. Like Red still has more villagers. Um, Red's got that castle in the middle. And I think Red might be tempted to try and take out Green's castle, which is all very weak, by the way. And there's no villagers over here to repair it. Okay. I mean, buildings are all going down, too. That could even get expensive to replenish. Red's been trying to take out the fishing ships that have no dock now. And, ooh, this could be an important moment in this game because green can't get a castle again. Green, you need to stop this. It'll take, uh, quick math here, like six volleys, I think, to take it out. Oh, no way! It's Kelt Trebs, too. They'll fire a little bit faster, and the, the castle's gonna go down. That's huge. The Trebs will go down. But now, green is stuck at 37 Showtail Warriors, four villagers, and 18 fishing ships, and can't get any more Showtail Warriors. Could maybe try and take this stone with some villagers. But then again, I say villagers. There's only four villagers on the map. That was a really important play. Honestly, <laughs> both players have to conserve numbers big time. <laughs> and I think, I actually think Red is going to go for murder holes. Because he's worried that Green is going to try and destroy that castle. Dang. Look at... Uh, who has more vision right now? Let me... Okay, this is Green's point of view. This is Red's point of view. <laughs> Green can see more on the map. <laughs> are you kidding me? I guess the outposts really help, right? Ethiopian outposts are insane. I forget what murder holes cost. I think it's wood and stone. So I think Gray, uh, Red could research it. Red did find gold over here. Oh, fortified wall. Oh, wrong tech. Mur Murder holes is coming in. Also, the take out opponent house strategy is slowly working. Slowly but surely working. 
Wow. Uh, zero relics collected, so there's no gold trickle there. Murder holes might actually save red. Like, if red can make enough army combined with murder holes, and green actually makes a run for this castle, who knows? What green should be trying, though, is trying to find other areas of the economy, and I guess green probably feels like it's all been taken already and doesn't realize that red would be occupying some of what used to be his land. So green's got no castle. Red's got, like, no army. They both have very fragile ecos. They're back to the Dark Ages. <laughs> oh, God, Red, please don't. No, no, don't. Okay, all right, go ahead and farm next to the castle. That had to be a misclick. Okay, Entik has just bought stone. How do you buy 100 stone and then end up with 96? That's weird. Okay, he's making another outpost, I guess, because stones cost a little bit. Yeah, red should honestly be stacking castles too, but it's like, it's kind of tricky sometimes too because you don't want to build castles in this spot that doesn't help you. But red doesn't realize how... Like, from our perspective, we know that red should just stack as many castles as possible just to stay alive. And outpost is 10 stone? I'm pretty sure it's 5 stone. Ooh, ooh, this could be nice. This could also give red ideas too. But the Showtel Warriors are going to take out the dock, which means the food eco here for Red is not going to work. And I think that's something that Red could try here uh, on this dock or even over here. All right, that's rendered useless. Green's still making outposts, wondering where the enemy is. Green is now selling food and is buying stone to get another castle. But Green, there's actually stone here, my friend. That would be enough now. That's like 500 stone. And there's also stone here as well you could get to. It's just... It's slowed down so much. But we have another castle now. And some players are selling stone. Other players are buying stone. Some players are selling food or buying food. It's all over the place. But double castle is nice. Could even be more for red. And the TC is pretty protected. Green is now up to 13 villagers. And I think... Oh, yeah. Great efficiency in the lumber camp. Thank you. I think what Green's going to try is just sell the wood and buy a castle. Like... Oh, wait. Oh, Green found the TC. Green found the TC. And Green's going to go in and take out the TC and probably should run because there's castle fire, but might stick around. We'll see. Remember, cannot make more showtail warriors. So you've got the castle fire, you've got some woads, you've got some knights, and red's like, let's try and use the castle fire a little bit. There's only 19 showtails now, and there's 18 woads. And green takes the hill, and now red's like, maybe I don't want to take that fight. Green is trying to get full surrounds and with outposts. This is awesome. This is so freaking amazing. And now finds these villagers and will kill these villagers. Which gives Green the villager lead. Ah, there you go. But Red... So now Red doesn't have a TC. <laughs> Red needs to make a town center. <laughs> so yeah, that was a really good raid from Green. Like, Green should be able to get a castle again. Also, that's a nice choke point to fight in. Okay. Now, green also is going to need gold, but there is gold here, right? Like, I think if green just stops running around with the showtels for a second, you could find the stone, you can find the gold, you can get some relics, you could be okay. So I, I think that's what would be my suggestion. Like, if I was coaching right now, it's just leave the, let the showtels sit for 30 seconds. Monastery, villagers on gold, couple of villagers on stone, and you'll get to where you want to be. Green must not notice that stone there at, because now villagers are coming this way. So green is kind of doing what I said. And red is actually making archers. Would be really funny if red researched stronghold. It's a unique tech, which I think is one of the more useless unique techs in the game, but it does make your towers and castles attack a little faster. <clears throat> Jotels might be headed back to the TC to heal up right now. 
and Red is like going out on his little scouting party. And Red's Red credits to Red and credit to Green, I guess, because both players didn't give up. But like Red's like, I'm not done yet. Red's gonna find that villager and attack it. And the show tells are now gonna go over and attack the mining camp here. It's 900 elo, but both of their brains have broken, I think. Like, both players here are just very confused and probably have not encountered this situation before. Yeah, it's going to be pretty hard for Red to find villagers. Uh, but yeah, grabbing that relic would be such a nice move. Again, Green has no gold income. Green is going to make pikes now, which is, I think, a good addition because it doesn't cost gold. Uses the market to sell food, probably to make the um, monk, which I guess could then heal up the show tells as well. And if Red, Red could make a new town center, and, and now Red's going to make a castle there. <laughs> oh, man. Red, just make a town center, buddy. What? Okay, three castles. Red's like, I will not go down. And actually, Red's army count is really sick. Knights are going to get picked off there. Here's the monk to heal up the Shotel warriors. This is an awesome game. And is Red... Oh my god, don't tell me Red goes and takes out Green's TC now. Oh my god, because the Shotels are out of position! And Green doesn't have a castle yet! Oh my god, that'd be so funny. Green, you need a castle. Okay, now the show tells they don't have time to heal up. They've received a call from home. And so now the show tells are going to deal with that. And now the Wood Raiders are running home. <laughs> now the Wood Raiders are going home. Oh, man. Green was really scared, too. Even moved the Lumberjacks. <laughs> oh, man. Again, gold eco is what green needs, and then green needs a castle. Green's going to place the castle here, I guess, because that's where gold is. So I like that. That's a good decision. Um, and then red needed a town center, and now red's solving that problem. Doesn't really need gold eco. More so needs food eco, I guess. Uh, but gold could eventually become an issue as well with how this game is going. All right. So yeah, there's the castle. Now we know when that castle's up and once there's gold income, that green can make show tales like that. But like, I don't think the show tell warriors are going to be good against triple castle. Triple castle is really bad for show tales because they have such low HP and low armor. Hmm. 54 population for red, 76 population for green. Green, well, well done from you to keep playing. Green is going to grab relic number two and three now. So that's gold trickle now on top of this gold, on top of the new town center. So I'm liking Green's position more and more. But, I mean, red is building up in confidence. Also, we haven't seen too many straight-up fights with just the Wodes and the Showtels. And here we have it. Wodes are fighting up the hill. Wodes have so much more HP. Do you see that? Oh my god, look at that. I mean, some of that is archer HP, but still, holy. What is it, 65 HP versus 45? Am I, it must be low HP units in there. Yeah, yeah, there's a bunch of weak ones. Like, Red is, Red is really applying some pressure here. But now Green's going to make new show tells like it's nothing. Boom. All right. Sick game. This is so cool. I feel like just I, I I'm trying to get a gauge on anyone who might watch this later, but I feel like people are gonna be very split. People always like a comeback story, but at this point it's a comeback story for red. And at one point it was a comeback story for green. And red is giving green a taste of his own medicine here, too. I'm not sure about running with the archers here, Red. Uh maybe Green will do you a favor and take out the archers. Oh, wait, wait, are the Wodes going to fight or are the Wodes not going to fight? What's the deal? No, the Wodes are not going to fight. No, the Wodes are going to fight. Okay, now we have that, that engagement we wanted to see. And it looks very bad for the Wode Raiders. 
And I, I also am losing faith in red ever getting to elite. Uh, green might actually get to elite because green's resources are looking really good. And green might even have another castle. Okay. <laughs> I like how there was a game and then green took a bunch of show tells and was like, we're starting the game over. It, dude, that, that's exactly what happened here. <laughs> but they're playing on a different map that has a shortage of resources. It's basically a wasteland. I love how the market has been used by them. If I page up, look, selling stone, buying food from red, and then you've got selling wood, or sorry, selling food and then buying stone from green. It's the exact opposite. So it's keeping the market balanced. Very good of them to worry about the economy like that. Maybe, maybe green knows about my uh, hatred of trickle trebbing. Four trebuchets, perfect. Remember, Green had an outpost over here and lost it, but can actually see these villagers. And now these villas are going to go to that gold. Okay. Uh, I wouldn't suggest you keep your relics out in the open like this in this type of game. But it could obviously uh, be something you defend. Uh, Wood Raider's just passing. And Red was looking around for damage, found the castle now, sees the army, and Red's probably really worried now. Um, and Red calls the GG. Red won't even let it finish. Entix is GG11. And they're going to laugh about it a little bit here. And Red gives the well played. Both players laughing. I have to say, thank. I really like to see an amazing game like this finish with the GGs being exchanged. And Green says, thank you. Uh, wow. Well, I think Red recognized, like, there's no way I kill that, right? The last couple engagements have looked pretty bad for the Wode Raiders. Um, Red could have tried, right? Red could have made more Wode Raiders. Could have maybe tried something like Scorpions, but in the end, I, I think there would have been too many Showtel Warriors in the group. I think Green's economy is, is looking superior now, and it's much easier for Green uh, to be able to, to make more army. Uh, as there's that one castle that could spam endlessly and, and potential for more. We need to look to the timeline on this game. <laughs> we need to look at so many funny little stats here. Let me just look um, at economy population. Economy population was a deceiving one, actually, because of the fishing ships from green. But even just like military population, <laughs> like <laughs> everything about this game was wild. Um I mean, how did Green survive that? Green lost his main base. Green had no base. And all those technologies with the Ethiopians that were researched earlier on in the game made all the difference. That was a heck of a game. Uh, 228 kills and 226 losses there from Guardsman Gary, uh, who, according to the Discord post, was the one who actually submitted this. So heck yeah again to Guardsman Gary for submitting this, even though you lost. That's epic. Um, 56. I'm going to read the message from Guardsman Gary in a second. Uh, 56,000 wood collected. Uh, obviously didn't have the food eco. I wish I had stats on how much food some of those fish traps from green had brought in this game. Uh, but then more gold and more stone and just didn't have the unit type. Like, thought that the game was won probably. Uh, didn't prioritize really protecting the economy. I'm now happy that green didn't win the game after taking out red's MTC. That might be part of the strategy for Entic and oh so satisfying that must be if you can pull it off. Um, Cause the timing would have been perfect there. But the fact that green was able to bring this back was legendary, man. Uh, APM. I was very curious on this. No offense, Entic, when you rewatch this, but again, it was like you were doing stuff until you weren't in the early game. Uh, lots of freezing up, lots of uncertainty. And then, Entic looks really good when Showtel Warriors are on the field, right? Like, when Green has the resources for Showtels, Green's looking great. Um, all right, let me just look at this message real quick from the submission. Again, guys, like, I'd love to encourage your submissions. I cannot promise that I'll see your games. Uh, if they are as good as this, I hope that I will eventually see them, of course. But this was one of the submissions in the Discord. Okay, where was it? Excuse me. All right. So here's the summary. Um, a case of snatching victory from the jaws of defeat and defeat from the jaws of victory. 
Crazy perseverance and a mostly untouched fish boom gets the win after a complete base loss with a healthy dose of overconfidence and then underconfidence <laughs> on my, the losing side's part. I thought I had him after I took out his base, so I took my foot off the gas. But that only gave him time to rebuild Mass Showtel Warriors and completely flip the script. Man, I can't even steal that from my YouTube description. Dang. Well written there, Guardsman Gary. And, and again, classy of you to call the GG and respect what was a great game. And classy of you to submit it even though you weren't on the winning side. Sick. Age of Empires. I want to see more games like that. It's just spoiled all the rest of the games for me. The, the bar is simply too damn high going forward.